Hey guys, Cha Chan here, and today's video I'm drawing the giveaway winner of the, the prize. The prize, there we go, that's the word I'm looking for. The the prize that was won. God, I'm good with words, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, so this is Azzel's Wraths OC, Kuraha, and this is a zebra, my little pony OC. Uh, Azazel's Wrath or at Citrus Flamingo on Twitter and also Instagram, I think. Honestly, I love this character so much. Thank you so, so much for letting me draw this character. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to leave a link to your social medias down below so people can go and see your art because you have amazing art. I love this character as well. Like, thank you so, so much for letting me draw your character. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> so, um,. Yeah, uh, I don't really know what to say, I just really enjoy drawing this character. I have to draw my pony OC at some point, I have a pony Sona myself. Uh, my pony Sona is a Shetland pony because I live in the kind of mining areas where I live used to be, or mines, like coal mines, and Shetland ponies were bred to go into the mines. Also I'm very short so it kind of makes sense that my pony Sona is a Shetland pony. <laughs> Yeah, I've got to draw that at some point, so uh, enough about that, let's talk about something else. Um, I know what I can talk about. I can talk about what happened yesterday, because it was weird. <laughs> yesterday was just a kind of bizarre day. A very strange, weird day. So, started out normal, we went to business class. We were snowed in on Monday, so no business class on Monday, but Tuesday, which is yesterday, went to business class, we did marketing, it was great, we really enjoyed business class. I go with my mum, we both are on the same business class, so um, yeah, anyway, business class was fun, it was great, then instead of going straight home like we should have done, we decided we wanted to procrastinate and go into the town, so we went into the town and got lunch, and then we kind of noticed that there was a lot of students walking around, which is weird because there's not a a college or a university anywhere nearby that they would just walk walk there from. And it was it was weird, they were taking photos of like everything. So we go into Smith's because uh, we need things in Smith's and then we get talking to the cashier when we're checking out and he's like, have you noticed all these students? And we're like, yeah, what's up with that? And he's like, one of them came in and was like, can I take a photo of you with your ID? And he's like, uh, no, you can't do that because, you know, he just doesn't want that to be there, you know? You don't really want people taking a photo of you with your ID when you don't know what they're doing with it. Yeah, it was weird. Anyway, this, this person then left the shop and then took a photo of him through the window, which isn't very nice, you know? <laughs> so, um, weird, you know? And we go outside and we, we keep talking about it and then we look and they're at the end of the street with a camera on a tripod and they're like filming or taking photos down the street and then there's another group of them at another place and they're sat on the floor like filming or photographing people as they walk past. They're just doing the legs though this time which is kind of weird. It's so weird. So we talk about that for a while and we just want to know what's happening and we never find out. We just did not find out. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was weird. Anyway, uh, on the topic of this, what I'm drawing, I actually found a lot of My Little Pony character figures while I was in town uh, in charity shops because nowhere really stocks any kind of My Little Pony things other than Tesco's and Sainsbury's supermarkets in the toy aisle there's little things but uh, yeah I found a lot of little mystery bag figures I got Derpy, Thunder Lane and Sea Swirl as well as a fake Sea Swirl she's um she looks a bit like Derpy but not <laughs> I also found a little spike figure and I love this little spike figure it's so cute anyway um enough about that so I get home and I'm about to start drawing this and I've made my cup of tea I'm about to sit down relax draw this and then suddenly I hear some knocking like little tiny faint knocking at the back door and I'm like what's that who's that 
I thought it might be the neighbours bringing around a parcel that I'd missed, which I have today, which was an insect, because um, I'm going to mount an insect in the frame. Anyway, um, yeah, but it wasn't. It was my dad's friend who works at a butcher's, and he said, are you the one who does the taxidermy? And I'm like, yes. He's like, do you want some goat skins? And he hands me a bag of two goat skins. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, thank you very much. These goat skins were just gonna go into the bin or the skip or whatever, so they were going to go to waste. So I'm very happy that I was able to get them. So um, yeah, I really, I really uh, like that. It, thank you to person who shall remain unnamed, but uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> but it did mean that I had to cancel my craft plans. I was going to draw this, continue with my fursuit because I'm trying to get that done. And um, yeah, so I ended up sat on the kitchen floor from about four o'clock till half seven. And uh, if you know anything about doing skins, taxidermy kind of stuff, Usually when you're deflushing a big skin like this, you will have a plank of wood, like a beam, and you will hang that skin over it, and you'll have something called a fleshing knife, which is a big long blade, a handle at each side, and you kind of push down over and over again until you've defleshed the entire skin. And um, yeah, I don't have a defleshing knife like that. I do have a flashing beam, but it's very like makeshift. It's a plank of wood, and I will prop it up on a chair, on the back of a chair, and I will kneel on the chair and do the deflashing thing. But um, yeah, I ended up sat on the floor of the kitchen. We have a tiled kitchen, in case you were wondering. <laughs> so I was sat on the floor of the kitchen with my little hand axe, which is what I use to deflash usually. Not the most effective, it kind of the edges of the axe kind of dig into it and poke holes and stuff so um also it's getting blunt I need to sharpen it so anyway I'm sat there with my little hand axe and my scalpels and my scissors scissors are very good for deflushing I highly recommend it anyway um yeah it took me quite a while of sitting there I was very cold as well because um my house we have fires not central heating as such and uh, at that side of the kitchen, I'm not next to the fire, I'm blocked by the island that's in the kitchen as well. So the heat is not getting to me, it's cold. And I can't go next to the fire because heat and raw skins don't mix, you know? And so yeah, I was cold and sat there on the floor doing this for hours. But it was great, I enjoyed it. And honestly, I am so lucky that I actually had enough alum and borax and salt to be able to tan the skins, like make my tanning solution. If anyone's wondering, my recipe for tanning solutions I actually got from another taxidermist. I think it was White Rabbit Taxidermy who gave me this, but um, I alter it slightly for things like I kind of wing it to be honest. Everything's approximate, it doesn't have to be exact. I use approximately 700 grams of alum it can be a bit less, it can be between like 650 and 700 grams. Uh, about a kilogram, like 900 grams to a kilogram of salt, and 9 litres of water. You have to boil the water first, then put in your alum and salt. And I've also added a bit of borax, I don't know how much, I literally just eyeballed that. I had a tub and I poured like half of it in. So um, I have no idea how much borax I added. But yeah, you mix that all together, let it cool and then put your skins in. And fortunately I had just enough to be able to make my tanning solution. And fortunately the goat skins actually fit in the bucket, because I thought they wouldn't. They like barely fit in there. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But anyway, uh, that was my strange day yesterday. And today I have just drawn this and done a bit of fursuit work and then um, that's about it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my weird story from yesterday. I hope you like the art. Hope to see you in the next video and bye! <laughs>